Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum. And in this video, I've got a confidential pedal sent to me from JHS. Let's crack this thing open and check it out. It's been sitting around here for a week or two. I've just been looking at this confidential bag, wondering what the heck I've got going on in here. I actually kind of know what it is. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it looks like. Here we go. An official warning. Do not show until December 5th. They, they changed the launch date. <laughs> After they sent this. It's some sort of boost using some sort of special germanium components that Josh bought from someone in the UK, I think. There we go. Germanium Boost OC71. From what I understand, it's meant to be kind of like a, uh, a range master sort of thing. All right, here, you're gonna see it at the same time that I do. There it is, OC71. That must be the component that is so special. These are gonna be pretty limited run from my understanding, considering they could only buy so many of those OC71s, <laughs> I'm assuming is the component. All right, maybe we'll learn a little bit of history here from the cute little manual. A bunch of different languages here in the manual, but in my language, all it says is real germanium treble boost takes up the highs for a bright tone worthy of a stadium. No other information here. You'll have to go to the JHS YouTube channel, I suppose, to get the nitty gritty on this nifty gritty boost. Maybe it's not gritty, maybe it's clean. <laughs> So anyways, my plan here is to get started with the two Princeton's rig. <laughs> and then bring in a bunch of other like small tube amps that I have to test out how they take this boost. I mean, I don't think I've ever owned a Range Master style boost before. Let me know if I'm wrong. I've demoed a lot of pedals over the years. And I don't think I've ever tried one of these. So I'm interested to see how it interacts with different amps that I have. I know that they're meant to push a lot of highs and take amps that kind of get dark and muddy when they're pushed to gain into a more balanced, brighter direction. So we'll see if this helps out any of the amps that I have. Maybe it'll be a colossal failure, who knows? But let's get set up. start out with my Yamaha Revstar. I don't know if I'll move to other guitars. If I feel like it, I will, but I'm going to start out with the Revstar. And of course, I am running through the Two Princes rig. That's enough of that. Let's see what we got here. What kind of treble can we get into with a treble boost? We've got a main knob here. The knob controls both output volume and gain saturation. Left is quieter with less saturation. Right is more loud with higher saturation. And the toggle adjusts EQ response. Down is the classic treble boost tone. Up adds bass frequencies. All right. Let's start with it all the way down just to be safe. I wonder if I'm going to need earplugs for this video. It might get loud in here. There we go. Oh yeah, that's that's bright nasal already.
Oh man, it's, it's doing it. It is bright and nasal and gritty and nasty sounding. There's probably classic riffs. I'm supposed to be playing with this thing, and I have no idea which ones they are. I'm sorry if you came here looking for those classic riffs. All right, I'm gonna put some earplugs in and turn up these, uh, these Princetons to see what happens when we drive them. I don't typically like to push my Princetons to dirt. I use them as clean machines, but now's the time to do it, right? And then we'll move on to some other amps. <laughs> Is that a good sound? I turned both Princetons up to seven, which has got plenty of crispies on there. And I rolled the treble down to five, which is darker than I usually run them. Let's start this off in the middle and see what happens. Try turning the amps all the way up. Watch me fry one of these Princeton. <laughs> appreciating these earplugs right now. I'm using <laughs> I'm using the Vibes earplugs. We had a recent sponsorship from them for the podcast and they're doing the trick. I'm very comfortable. I can tell from the feedback and just the movement of the air in the room that this is very loud right now. I'm sure my wife is in the living room behind this wall wondering what the heck I'm doing with the amps this loud. Yeah, the Revstar has a low boost circuit here. You pull that see what happens when we push this with the low boosted Revstar pickups.
Try a different amp. I'm going to use the Tone King Imperial Mark II now, which actually might be the perfect amp for this video. It's got an attenuator on the lead channel, which means I can keep the volume low. I don't need to have in my earplugs. And it sounds nice and deep and throaty right now. great it's a very specific sort of sound like it's got this really bright nasal cocked wah sort of thing going on it's got this extra kind of like edge of fuzzy grit this fantastic feeding into an already hot and distorted pushed tube amp i get it i really do i mean it's part of a recipe if you run a clean pedal platform style amplifier unless you find some sort of magic with this interacting with one of your drive pedals or something like that. This is probably not the pedal for you. This is a tool for people who use tube amps turned all the way up, pushing those tubes into tube distortion and compression, and they want to get some bright clarity out of it. They want that screaming lead sound. They want to get nasal. They want that cocked wah sort of sound. They want some extra dirt with their brightness. I get it. I get what these are for now. Like I said, I don't think I've ever owned a Range Master style pedal before. So I don't have any other experience with them. 
Yeah, that's fun. Let's try it on the clean channel of the Imperial, which does not have the attenuator on right now. I think I can swap it on over there, but let's see what happens when we drive that speaker anyways. I'll put in the earplugs and then I'll go grab another amp or two. It's so much fun being in a room with a loud amp. I can just feel it in my chest. I can feel my seat vibrating from the floor right now. And that Imperial sounds awesome. Let's see what it sounds like with the OC-71 on. I'm just having fun with feedback at this point. All right, what amp next? I've got this little vintage Alamo Charger tube amp here that a family friend gave to me. It's only got a volume and a tone control. Let's see if the OC71 works any magic on it. Got a real scratchy pot. Got the tone almost all the way down right now. Now it's all the way down. It's not starting out as a terribly dark amp. It's a very noisy amp. Let's see how it takes the OC-71.
<laughs> Shoot! Ow! I need to have someone take a look at this amp. I just got electrocuted through this thing. <laughs> I think it does help it though. It adds some beef, especially with that up and running into the neck pickup with that boost on on the Revstar, but it does gain it up quite a bit. This is already a pretty bright sounding amp starting out. So let's go grab a different amp. I think I'm gonna grab that Supro that I have. Now this is an amp that I already think of as being pretty warm, pretty dark sounding, creamy in a good way. dark smoky growl from this super amp right off the bat haven't even hit it with the oc71 yet so let's see what happens by the way i've got the volume all the way up here and the master down to control the actual volume so this is as dirty as this amp gets before i throw on the onboard boost and the onboard distortion and stuff like that we're not going to use those we're just going to use the oc71 maybe i should stack it with the boost though that could be fun <laughs> Oh, that's spicy. I got to turn it down. sloppy right now I've been sitting here for a while though just jamming with this thing I think the Supra really likes this <laughs> Thank you. 
try another amp? I think we should try another amp. All right, we got a cheapie here. We got the Monoprice Stage Right. These things go for like 200, 250, sometimes on Amazon. 15 watt amplifier with all sorts of features. They're a great buy. These are really great amps for the money, but let's see how it takes the OC71. This has a one watt attenuator, which is pretty handy for this video. It means I'm not gonna blow my ears out. that one watt attenuator on with the volume all the way up it's not quiet it is not a quiet amp <laughs> significantly more gain on tap than my other amps as well let's see how that higher gain sound takes the OC 71 I need earplugs. I could feel my skull and my teeth resonating with that. This amp is kind of ridiculous. Let's close this out by bringing back in the Supro and running it at the same time in stereo as the stage right here. So I'll have to put them both on this table and get both mics up here. And for fun, to do something, a little gimmick at the end of the video, I'm gonna turn all the lights I have on here in the garage all the way up. I usually keep them pretty low, but just to drive home that boosting point, I'm gonna turn them all up after I get the amp set up. Mm. 
Oh, man. <laughs> I usually run the lights pretty low in here. This is pretty stiff. I'm on the monitor. It looks like I'm looking into a nuclear explosion. <laughs> All right, let's test out the amps real quick. There is the stage right. There's the Supra. Let's put the boost on it. It's got its own built-in boost. Oh, that's gonna sound crazy with this on. Let's try that real quick. Now we'll try the stage right with that on. We'll turn this off and we'll do both on. Here we go. Things are about to get serious in here. Ted style. I've got all the knobs and all the amps all the way up, all the knobs and all the switches all the way up on the OC71. I've got all the lights all the way up. Everything is turned all the way up. Here we go. Let's have some fun. <laughs>
right there really shows you what this is for. These amps are just cranked all the way up. They're a great big muddy mess by themselves. <laughs> this on and it gets you I wouldn't say clarity but it gives you that like definition it allows you to jump through all that mud all that muck of that heavy heavy gain all that tube and speaker distortion going on <laughs> It's a jump out of the mix tool for your high volume situations, for your amps cranked all the way up till they're muddy and heavy situations. You want to jump out of the mix? This is it. video oh man so glad i was wearing earplugs for that that would have completely wrecked me <laughs> how stupid this looks this is like the opposite of demos in the dark demos in the light you don't need to hide in the dark full brightness guys full illumination of this demo jeez this is silly all right thanks for watching Huge thanks to JHS for sending me this pedal to check out. There's only going to be so many of these. By the time you watch this video, they might be all sold out. Sorry I made such a long video. Go check out the link to see if there's any left. If there are, and you want to try one of these, now is the time. Because I have the feeling that once they run out of these special little guys here, the OC71 that's inside of there, uh, you're not going to see this again because... Josh apparently bought a bunch of these from some guy somewhere, and there's only so many, and when they're gone, they're gone. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me a rude and nasty comment. Support us on Patreon. Buy a shirt if you're naked. Click all the links for all the stuff. Not just this, but I'll, I'll have links for all the amps and the guitar as well. I mean, this little guy right here, that was like the secret trick of the whole video. That little bass boost built into the Revstar. That was a fun little extra thing to throw at this. But yeah, other than that, stay grounded. Bye, everybody.